All right, and away we go. Man, dream home engaged. This home is absolutely spectacular. I am totally heads over heels in love with it. I think you guys are gonna love it too. It has so many cool things happening in it. Just from right here in the foyer, this is the view that you were greeted with and you already got things going on. So uh, I'll go ahead and turn you around real quick, let you see the front door and then we will get on with it. So really nice front door. I love the big glass panes and the black trim going all the way around it. Kind of a nice modern looking front door. And then up above us, you do have this tray ceiling right here with this gigantic light fixture and then now this is something that we haven't seen before uh, in the foyer anyway. We've seen plenty of wine rooms, but I don't think we've seen any right here in the foyer. So that's super cool. Now this is, it's all fake wine and it's not chilled right now. So <laughs> it is all right. I'll leave the door open, but uh, man, that is pretty neat. I mean, talk about a statement piece when your guests arrive and they see that big old tower of wine. I think that's, Super fun. And then just as you enter the front door to the left-hand side, you've got this gorgeous office space again with the exposed beams. You're gonna see that uh, throughout this home. And it is something that I am really, really loving about this house. Then you've got these big windows looking out onto the front porch with these wood shutters, blinds. <laughs> Uh, brain farted for a moment but those are cool too because these actually open let's see I don't I don't know how they open but there we go and you can clean your windows so that's pretty neat I have to come back and fix that because the balance is in the way but you know what I mean you got the glass doors leading in here as well and then we'll go ahead and get into the good stuff and whoo we I love those exposed beams. You've got a huge chandelier, both hanging down here in the great room, as well as in the kitchen, they kind of match. Great big windows looking out into, onto the back porch, which kind of wraps around. You've got this gorgeous fire pit out there, but we'll get there in a minute. And then this is probably my favorite part of the whole home. Not only do you have this great big fireplace going all the way up to the ceiling, but you have these beautiful stone uh, on either side of the fireplace, <laughs> stone accent wall. I don't know, anyway, but this is, this is the part that I like. You've got the exposed wood right here uh, on the stone, and this all leads back to um, like the gym room, the master bedroom, and all that fun stuff, which is gorgeous in and of itself. And then you've got this fireplace. I think it's cool how the hearth is kind of raised up a little bit. It is gas. And then you've also got the nice wood mantle. Then let's get into this kitchen right here because it is absolutely gorgeous looking. I love all of the cabinets in here. You have a lot of wood accents going on uh, on both the range hood as well as the exposed beams. Really nice chandelier hanging down over the top of this island. And then what I love about Partners in Building is that they have these little uh, cabinets right here on the front of all of their islands that we've been touring. Just the simple things, you know, the things that I appreciate. Then on the opposite side, again, you've got plenty of cabinets and drawers over here. Nice and soft clothes. Then you've got the trash can drawer. in this really pretty undermount apron sink looking out into that great room. I cannot get enough of that great room. Then you've got the dishwasher and just plenty of space. Then on the opposite side, again, cabinets not quite going up to the ceiling. So if you wanted to put some decorations up there, you could. You got the built-in microwave and a little bit of counter space. Then I think this right here would be part of your pantry, maybe. I feel like this home, it's so big though, it's got to have something else. It's just a hunch that I have after walking through some of their other homes. Then what is this right here? 
like a little bread, maybe like a pan cabinet. I don't know. Then on the back side, you've got the gas range with this range hood. I love the wood right there. Plenty of counter space. Then we're going to go ahead and head this way down this little corridor. This door right here would be where the garage is, but right now it's currently set up like offices. So we're not going to go there, but this would be like your mud room. So you got a little hall tree right here kick off your shoes, hang up your backpacks. And then just off of that is the laundry room and get a load of this floor. Ooh, it is gorgeous. So you got washer dryer hookups, nice little wash basin, some floating shelves. And then you got a little spot over here, maybe for a freezer or a secondary refrigerator. I'm not sure. And then this is the other cool part. It's got this pet wash or like if you don't have a pet you come in here wash off your shoes your dirty clothes or whatever it may be but all right this is i knew that there had to be something else in here so nice little butler's pantry you got the pocket door that kind of separates it tons of counter space in here and these kind of floating shelves some little slide outs yeah, there was no way that this home, <laughs> being as gorgeous as it was, was not going to have a full-on pantry. But then you've got the first full bathroom. Tons of counter space on that vanity. And then you've got the walk-in shower with the tile going all the way up to the ceiling. Got a nice shower head and then a little bench on the back. Gotta love the bench. Then just off of that is like a junior suite. It's got the tray ceiling. And this sits up towards the front of the house. Nice big rooms. Then into the closets. I'm not sure if this goes all the way through or not. I don't think so. It's kind of like twin closets. You can have spring and fall or summer and winter clothes oh just kidding it does i thought i thought i saw a wall oh man craziness all right then from here we're going to work our way back over to the dining room which this dining room is absolutely gorgeous as well again you've got the tray ceiling with the exposed beams another little chandelier hanging over the top of this table and just tons of windows surrounding this whole dining room i think it looks awesome kind of a cool table i love that live edge right there kind of like a dream table for me i love that that's one of the things that i am all about like some rusticness within a home but then coming out here on the patio you've got a built-in fire pit with a little inside of like a little courtyard maybe we can call this like a little courtyard it looks really cool with all the stone though and then on this side tons of space for outdoor eating got another we got a grill out here so like a little outdoor kitchen area check this puppy out I love how they ran the beam all the way out the house too. I think that looks super cool. Then coming back inside, we're going to head on over to this almost like a little bar area just off of the dining room space. This could be like a bonus room, uh, or game room, whatever you wanted it to do. It's got the cool vaulted ceiling with access all the way uh, out onto that back patio. And then this really cool looking sliding door. I love this color. It's almost like a sagey green color. Looks pretty sharp. But plenty of space in here, again, to do whatever you wanted to do with it. Got the exposed beam. And then just off of this, you've got the half bath. Uh, which also has access right there that door that we saw outside uh, leads in here so you don't have to come inside 
to use the bathroom, really. Then you've got a full bar. You've got the prep sink. And then on the back side, you've got some floating shelves and that really cool accent wall, some drink chillers. And then another, another trash can drawer. You can never have too many trash can drawers. Then from here, we'll go ahead and work our way upstairs. If you are interested in this model or partners in building though, you can click that link right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area, filter by price, number of bedrooms, square footage, all different types of stuff to find that perfect dream home for you. Now, now that we're up here at the top of the stairs, you've got another kind of bonus area. I guess since they got the pool table up here, this would be the game room. But what is this little, what is this little door? Where does it go? Just some crawl space access. Then just past this, you have two additional bedrooms up here and another secret closet with some unfinished storage. Maybe you could turn this into another bedroom. Let's get six bedrooms in this house. That could be a thing. And then into, this will be, I think the third bedroom that we've toured or that we've been in. So this one sits towards the back of the house. Got kind of a, a big tray ceiling, nice size rooms though. And then into its own ensuite. There's a few vanity lights. The nice single vanity. And then all the way through is the closet. Nice big closet space. Ooh, this is a Jack and Jill. Nice. So you got a linen closet in here. I wasn't expecting that. Honestly, I thought that this was, each one of these homes was gonna have their own kind of bathroom space. But then you've got the shower and tub, the tile going all the way up to the ceiling, and then into the other half of the bathroom. This one's got a little bit of a, a window and a walkthrough. The bathroom, or the closet's separated a little bit from the bathroom, that's nice. And then into the other secondary bedroom up here. This one's sitting all the way up towards the front of the house. It's about the same size. Got that cool tray ceiling up there. A couple little transom windows. And then from here, we'll go ahead and work our way back downstairs and to the other side of the house, which has even more stuff happening. And I don't know what it is. I just absolutely love this great room right here. Maybe it's the stone, maybe it's the wood, I'm not sure. But on the other side of it, you've got this little corridor right here and you've got two rooms on this side. First of which is this kind of gym room area. I'm sure you could actually turn this into a bedroom if you wanted to. Obviously, all that stuff is up to you, but uh, for the sake of the tour, we can just call this a, a bedroom. It does have a closet, so check. And then of course we saw the windows. Then back out into the hallway, you've got this little closet right here. Like another little coat closet. A little linen closet, maybe. And then into the fourth bedroom. And this one's got that real nice deep tray ceiling. Looks really cool. I love this gray color too. I think that looks really sharp. Both of these are sitting up on the front side of the home just to kind of orient you a little bit. I know we've been bouncing back and forth, but then into its closet. Honestly, I thought the closet was gonna be a little bit bigger. That one, is there another one somewhere? It's got its own bathroom. That's nice. 
got the single vanity and then you've got the tub and shower again tile going all the way up to the ceiling oh this is cool the glass opens up I don't think I've seen that before a little different all right and then coming back out into the hallway on the opposite side you've got some attic access and then another closet a lot of coat closets in this hallway maybe this is where you hang up all your suits but then all the way through you come into the master suite you've got these double barn doors that open up into this who super nice ensuite so on this side you've got a single vanity it looks like a makeup vanity got some cool sconces plenty of drawers and cabinets then I'll get into this car wash shower real quick this thing is nice all the shower heads a nice little bench back here these are like the dream showers you know what I mean then you got a little soaking tub sitting right in front of it there's the other vanity and then a fancy linen closet got the glass pane doors on it that's nice and then also the water closet which is kind of tucked away off by itself Ooh, and then into this closet wait let me back up let's get a little uh, dr dramatic entrance right there <laughs> cool little light fixture look at all these built-ins it's nice got the full-length mirror it's not like the biggest closet we've ever seen but it's pretty neat it just feels luxurious coming from this ensuite you know what I mean all right then from here go ahead and come out into the main bedroom area again you've got the vaulted ceiling with the exposed beam this one sitting on the back side of the house I love these windows looks really picturesque I could definitely wake up to that every morning but nice big space I love the color in here too almost like an olivey color oh and then check out these nightstands you got this waterfall edge on it that's nice all right, let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you want any more information on this model or Partners in Building, you can find that right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothypeatlivingston.com, where you can tour not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area, you can filter them down based off of number of bedrooms, square footage, price, layout, all different types of things. So definitely go check that out. That is all 100% free. With that, though, thank you so much for taking the time to tour this home. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And as always, my name is Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.